if you thought 2020 couldn't get any crazier, brace yourself because it doesn't get any crazier than this. But before we get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Uh, you guys are amazing and you help me do what I do. So if you want to help support on Patreon, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple and you can help support my content here on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, on my website, all that. Thanks so much. Now onto the video. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out my hair here. This is get it's getting quite a bit longer. If you look back in previous videos, man, it's like, you know, okay, we're making moves here. <laughs> okay, so um, Todd White. If you don't know who Todd White is, um, Todd White is notorious for his videos where he'll go out onto the streets. Um, he'll ask a person, hey, is there anything that's, you know, any sickness or any kind of like thing that's hurting? And he'll heal it, uh, heal it on the spot. Okay. And so th the big problem with some of these is that it has been demonstrated that a lot of if not all of them are just kind of like party tricks. Um, he'll say, hey, look, you know, your leg, one leg is longer than the other. So we'll grab the shorter leg and they'll kind of pivot the heel to make it seem like the leg is growing. So some, sh you know, shifty stuff here. Um, he's also kind of notorious in the prosperity gospel movement with the likes of Kenneth Copeland. They've teamed up a couple times. And, and when you're in that kind of company, um, it's just a it's a scary thing and and regardless of your perspective of um, Todd White whether you think he's a little misguided or a straight-out false teacher or a heretic um, This is good news for everybody and I'm going to tell you what the good news is in a second But I would just say overall that Todd White is in my opinion um, a false teacher and I don't use that lightly or he was a false teacher but he he, he used the, you know, health, wealth, prosperity um, as the main point. It was come to Jesus so you can get these things as, as opposed to come to Jesus so you can get Jesus. So Todd White is never somebody that I would watch or point people to. Um, but now, okay, so this is, this is what's going on. This is 2020 craziness. Um, Todd White has come out with a sermon. Okay, and and I saw people freaking out about this on Twitter, so I'm like, okay, what's going on? I watched this sermon. This is one of the best sermons I've ever heard. I that's not an exaggeration. I want you to watch this sermon, but first I'm going to show you some clips to just get a taste of what this was like. But there's really no way for a person to realize their need for grace if they don't realize that they've offended God. <laughs> we don't even talk about that a lot. A lot of times altar calls, and I've been in them, I've been, I've been there. Or if, you, if you'd like to have a relationship with Jesus and you'd like to have joy, love, peace, then I, then, then I need you to slip up your hand. I get it, I've been there. But what happens when you come in to the gospel and you're told that Jesus is gonna give you love, joy, peace? Your life is gonna be filled with amazing happiness and abundance. And what you get is trials, tribulation, persecution. <laughs> I am so convicted I can't even tell you. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trembling inside, sorry for me to speak. Todd White comes out and he is just, man, he is in tears. The guy looks just totally broken and he is just laying his heart out there, preaching the gospel for 45 minutes. On top of that amazingness, okay, you can see the people that he is now, like the content that he's taking in now. He's talking about reading Charles Spurgeon. He's, he's quoting Ray Comfort from Living Waters Ministry. I don't know if you guys know Living Waters Ministry, but it is an amazing ministry. And uh, one of Ray Comfort's uh, most famous sermons is called Hell's Best Kept Secret. And it talks about false conversion. It talks about bringing people to the gospel with the promise of, of a fulfilling, uh, purposeful, um, good life as opposed to um, coming to Jesus for the forgiveness of sins. Because when we look in the Bible, and Todd White pointed this out, 
when we look in the Bible, we find out that Christians encounter persecution. It's not just, you know, rainbows and roses and ponies and fairy tales and money and wealth and health, but no, it is persecution and it is trials and it is tribulations, but yet it is great um, hope and joy in Jesus. And Todd White, he lays this out amazingly. So it looks like, and he uses some of Ray Comfort's analogies. And I'm like, dude, this is, this reminds me of when I, got into Ray Comfort's ministry and fully understood the gospel or or began to at like the age of like 12, 13, when I was just like on fire and just like, what? The law and the gospel, we need to understand the law in order to understand the gospel. Sometimes people think, well, I only did a little bit. You ask people like a commandment, thou shalt you know, not bear false witness. What's that mean? Lying, correct me if I'm wrong. That's what it means. Am I lying? So if I ask the kid, hey, listen, have you ever lied before? Well, I mean, little lies. Well, what lie makes you like a liar? A little lie or big lies? Well, I mean, lies. Yeah, but I only told a couple. Well, does 10 lies make you a liar or does one lie make you a liar? How does that work? Well, I guess I'm a liar. Okay. Have you ever taken anything? Have you ever stolen anything before? Well, everybody has. That's right. What does that make you? Well, I don't know. I'm not a bad person, but what does it make you if you steal? A thief. That's not, that's not horrible, and I'm not condemning you. It's the truth. You don't have to condemn people because all people are condemned that don't believe in Jesus. Do you understand that's the Bible? The Bible says that all are under condemnation that don't believe in Jesus. Are you with me? The Bible also says that everyone has the, the law written in their hearts, it's already there. So if I ask a good person if lying is wrong, they will tell me yes. If I ask a bad person if lying is wrong, they will tell me yes. So lying, thieving, adultery is cheating on your wife, but adultery, Jesus says, is committing it with your eyes and your heart. So like that makes the best of people lying, adulterous thieves. That's crazy and that doesn't sound like, so, wait a minute, you're condemning. No, I'm not. You're already condemned. All people are condemned, it says by the law. It says in, 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 the, in the Psalms, in Proverbs, it says the law converts the soul. The soul is converted from the law. That doesn't mean that we preach it as legalists. That just means that if people don't know that they're sinners, they won't see their need for a savior. And Todd White, man, he looks like a guy that has been, like his heart has been moved in some way. And I'm not gonna make you know claims about where he is standing with the Lord or anything like that. All I know is if he believes what he has preached in this sermon, man, this is a brother that is on fire for the Lord. Like, and with not not just passion but theological foundation behind that and that is so important because if we don't understand why the gospel is good news if we don't understand that we are sinners then what are we doing we're just trying to promise people or or coax people in with with maybe perks of being a Christian. Hey, you can have nice community. Hey, you can have um, joy. Hey, you can have peace. Hey, you can have whatever. Um, and oftentimes those promises, especially for this prosperity preacher guys, they go over the top and say, oh, you're going to have health. You're going to have wealth. You're going to have all this kind of thing. But when we can say, hey, look, we you've sinned against a holy God. And because of that, you are guilty before God. We all are. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We have all fallen short. And because of that, we deserve hell for our sins against God. But Jesus, in his loving kindness, came to this earth fully God and fully man to live a sinless life, a life we could not live, to die on the cross, a death we deserve to die. And he rose again on the third day, defeating death and the devil. And if we repent, which means turn from our sin, but we can only do that through the power of God and put our trust in Jesus, we can be forgiven. That's all God. Because if we don't understand sin, then we don't know we need to repent. We don't know we need to turn from those things. And it looks to me like Todd White has made that connection. And I believe that is God working in his heart. I believe that is God drawing Todd White to himself. 
And I would just say, guys, pray for this man. Pray for this guy because this is a, a brother where if he is truly changed, if he, you know, stops the antics of, you know, doing these party tricks out in the, you know, I, and I'm not one to say that um, I actually do believe that healing still happens, right? But a lot of his stuff has been exposed to just being party tricks just for popularity or show or whatever you can see this is a distinct turn pivot from what he used to preach the the prosperity gospel a false gospel now more clear than ever he is preaching the true gospel the law and the gospel and you can see the people in his in his congregation just kind of like they're shook too and so pass this video on pass the Todd White sermon on. Anybody needs to hear it because it is a great sermon. Um, and if you yourself, if you're just like hearing these things and maybe it hasn't clicked for you, I would just go start in John of the Bible, begin there and just read about what Jesus has done. We've all fallen short. We all need Jesus. And through Jesus' death and resurrection, we can be freed from the power of sin. We can be forgiven. Our case can be dismissed. And we can be in right relationship with God and have eternal life. We can be made new. The Bible says we can be made a new creation through Christ. That is an amazing thing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.